So last week, some of the largest hotels and casinos in the world were taken over by ransomware and shut down. For once, they weren't the ones who were robbing people. Watching all these casinos and slot machines with blue screens of death all over them? Take that Windows XP. Now, the ransomware that was deployed is called Black Cat, and it's kind of a successor or renaming of Black Matter and Darkseid, which are ransomware as a service based in Russia. We've looked at them in depth, but what's interesting about this attack was that it didn't just involve typical Russian ransomware, it also involved social engineering by hackers based in Western countries who understood the language and culture well enough to hack into their systems with a 10 minute phone call. Now, another thing that makes these attacks even more ironic is the fact that these are the venues where the largest hacking convention or cybersecurity conventions are held, including Black Hat and DEF CON, and I was there just a few weeks ago. Now, if we take a look at the ransomware that did it, there are two major variants of this. One obviously is on Windows. It's well detected now, 39 out of 71. This particular sample has been analyzed a week ago, but we've also got a variant on Linux. And by the way, for you programming nerds, this ransomware is actually coded in Rust. But what's interesting to note is that in this particular case, a lot of the damage was not just caused by the ransomware. The reason a lot of the hotel guests couldn't get into their rooms, the everything was shut down, was partly because when the internal teams realized they were breached, they decided to voluntarily shut down their systems to prevent further damage or prevent some kind of data exfiltration event. Apparently, it ended up costing 4.2 to $8.4 million per day. But I'm guessing most of that is because if the slot machine's not working, in which case, I guess you can say the gambler saved 4.2 to $8.4 million per day. It's actually two separate incidents involving MGM and Caesar's Palace. MGM made the hasty decision to shut down each and every one of their sync servers. Gives me that syncing feeling. Learning that they had been lurking on the Okta agent server, sniffing passwords of people. Meanwhile, the attackers continued having super administrator privileges to their Azure tenant. I think one of the key things to understand from this exchange is even if you do the right thing from a security perspective, try to lock the attackers out of your system, that also comes at a cost. And sometimes that cost is very high, which is why a lot of businesses choose to pay the ransom. Now, another interesting thing to take away from this is that according to Caesars, their breach was caused by an outsourced IT support vendor, which was the victim of a social engineering attack. So you can have a really fancy cybersecurity team and all that, but if you're outsourcing bottom dollar IT support and they have your passwords, well, guess what? Your security is only as good as their Windows XP computers. Jokes aside though, the interdependence is a big issue. And we've seen this previously in other supply chain attacks like 3CX, where essentially one package in the software, like this entire phone system software, everyone using it could effectively be hacked through this one malware that was deployed in the supply chain. Similarly, if you have an IT vendor who's compromised, someone can use that as an entry point to a much larger organization. Hopefully this helps demonstrate how complex cybersecurity can be sometimes. It's not as simple as just securing your computer computers, or even your own employees, because it could be somebody else's employees. So it's really important to have a broad mindset, look into every aspect of your setup, including risk assessment, principle of least privilege, access management, and all the rest. But hey, let's look at the bright side. Some gamblers save millions of dollars. Some may even be so frustrated they might give up gambling. Not the worst thing in the world. But it's crazy the kind of impact some cyber attacks can have in this day and age, especially considering these hotels host DEF CON, so cybersecurity is not alien to them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and share it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. And now to our sponsors. You know what's funny? I actually spent a lot of time in Vegas this year going to all the conferences, yeah. but I never actually got to try out one of these machines. This video is brought to you by XM Cyber, continuous exposure management. As you know, a lot of companies these days are suffering from breaches of their security attackers infiltrating their network. XM Cyber can help you prevent that. How? 
you may ask, by managing your attack paths. As you can see, we're looking at an amazing dashboard over here that gives us a security score and our high risk scenarios. Now, one of the main concerns when you're dealing with cybersecurity is identifying your critical assets. You can assume that you will never be attacked or you'll never be infected. It's going to happen. The important thing to identify is the scenarios and building a resilient infrastructure so that your most critical assets are isolated in the event of a breach. So this UI you're looking at right now is what they call the battleground. And this is where you can simulate different attack paths leading up to assets in your network. Each of these boxes represent different assets. This is an AWS scenario. As you can see, we can visualize different attack paths, different assets that could be compromised, and this can help you minimize the exposure and risk to your most critical systems. Now we can also look at vulnerabilities and exposures by device, and all of this information plugs into the final security score that you see on the dashboard. It's one of the few tools that helps you really appreciate the real risks. If a certain user were to, let's say, leave their passwords out there, it's not easy to visualize that at all, but XM Cyber really makes it easy. Check them out using the link in description or the one on screen and show them some love for supporting the PC security channel. Even if this is a new concept, I highly recommend just clicking the link and having a look because it is quite interesting. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed. Stay secure.